What if for some reason we had to make camp or shelter in the trees? Whether it's due to an injured party member or the flat ground was just not an option. With limited tools, a little bit of a know-how and we'll utilize what we can. The first bit is to find something that we can start our platform. Perhaps here, what I'm thinking is possibly putting a log through something like this and then going into the next one. That could be like the bearing, the main beam. Go from here to there and then back. This could be it. This could be us. We've got good resources here. There's a creek not too far down there. Got beautiful fern cover. There's no rotten trees. Nothing that's gonna come down on our shelter. Making a shelter in the trees. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be epic. We've got a handsaw. We've got the goods around us. We'll get a few beams going and see how long it takes. <laughs> this is going to be great. Look at the size of this panga. And it's got no top on it whatsoever. So this has completely died out. And as long as it doesn't smash the smithereens when it drops down, hopefully we can utilize that as the main beams. That would be perfect. Certainly seems solid. Let's get the saw out and see how long it takes to get this big boy down. <laughs> perfect. They could not have been more perfect. We've got our main structure, I think. As long as it's long enough, that's going to hold our logs. The load, the weight. This didn't actually take too long. Amazing structure in there. So happy it was close by. It couldn't have been closer. I don't know about dragging a big log like this. Half an hour away from the shelter. Everything needs to be close. It needs to be easy. It needs to be accessible. And in our case, it needs to be dead. Or at least on its way out so we can utilize it. Man, this was efficient. I'm sure I won't be saying that after about 50 cuts. I'll roughly measure it out and it should start taking shape pretty soon. If you haven't quite got the idea, hopefully you soon will. We're looking for one more large beam just to take that distance from this corner here all the way over to here. And lo and behold, right next to it is another big large punga. And hopefully that's enough to go from one corner to the other corner. Whew. Hopefully, it should be just long enough and just fit. Ha! Oh, perfect! Perfect! Oh, nice! And it's taking shape. Check this out. It's just all wedged in nicely. And then obviously, once I add the extra weight, it's just going to really lock it down even better. I'm just going to add one more support pole to the outside. And the reason being, didn't quite have the level I wanted. And especially in the platform here. Happy with these main beams, extra support where I feel like it's a bit light. The only thing I need to find now is one more center beam, which will go from the center of this main beam to the end of this triangle here. Here's a great center beam right here. I needed it to be around about that sort of four meters, four and a half meters, and this is that. Let's get it down, get it over to the shelter. Even though it's pretty fresh here, towards the end of it, this complete die down. Let's carry it back to the shelter, get it in place, and then we'll go get some pungas. Our 
as you would have seen with my new mate I've swapped out this beam here the reason being once I put that center beam in it was just too low so I needed to raise it up and I've jammed it in there there's no way of raising up this platform here so I swapped this outside beam it's nice and flat and we're ready to rock and roll the weather just keeps coming in clearing up coming in clearing up the sooner we get the shelter done the better just tied off this one and now I just want to latch where everything comes together just to secure it all the ends are latched super happy with everything I'm not going to latch this end because it's really jammed in there that's not going anywhere check out these and it's not too far away from the shelter it's a good sign when they're still free standing it means they're not too rotten cut them down drag them over and then it's action time Well, as you see, it's nice and secure. I'm just trying to lock in whichever punga fits as if a puzzle. Some have bulges, some are straight, but it's certainly taking shape. And I tell you what, I'm stoked about the center beam. I'm not relying on just the strength of the logs. The center beam is really, just really taking that weight. Yes, this is taking shape. It looks awesome. Should be all nicely locked in and in this last little bit i haven't tied any of these main logs yet but to be honest i don't know if i have to but just a couple of gaps here not that it matters too much just where it bows got a couple more beams to do here way off the ground if it started bucketing down started flooding out i'm good to go nice and dry once I get my tarp up I'll erect something maybe with a bit of a center pole through here but let's get the tarp out it's getting dark again <laughs> so that rain's gonna set in any minute silk tarp 3 should be what we're looking for before I start cutting anything I want to make sure it's the right configuration. Tarps up and I'm stoked with it. The configuration, I just let it fall as it fell with the prevailing wind. I've even got a bit of a vegetable blocking the wind. Cooking area, sleeping bag set up. I've even got a seat in there. Come and have a look at this. <laughs> so here it is. Welcome. Even cut. A cooking table how's that now with this configuration because of the excess tarp I can tuck it under and utilize it as a ground sheet which works perfect then I've got my sleeping mat inside my rab bivy bag my sleeping bag on top if it gets cold enough I can tuck inside that bivy bag but it's so warm in here and the way I've got it set up here is the excess wind is coming from this side and then when it's time to close it up for the night pull that string can pull the excess over and then we're fully enclosed <laughs> fully enclosed in the trees nice and dry warm out of the rain this has just worked out perfectly now i know you might think why didn't you show us how you set up the tarp now this episode is not all about the tarps 
It's about the utilization of getting off that ground, getting to safety, if you had to, for quite a few days. I have got an episode coming up with my favorite tarp configurations. So what I've got here is some deer back stakes, which I managed to secure on a previous episode. Let's get this pan on and get some butter in there and get it sizzling. This is going to be so good. Oh, look at that. Oh, I tell you what, if you could smell this. Oh, oh, oh it's so good. I can't believe how warm it is in here. Even before I lit this jet ball, just the ambient temperature from the body heat being capsulated by this tarp. Oh man, this is incredible. So sheltered with this setup. The rain keeps coming in. There's definitely no more sun anymore. It's completely clouded over. But the wind keeps on coming through. I can hear it, but I can't feel it. This is looking good. Come and have a look. Check that out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, yes. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Wild game. You can't beat it. This is just something I'll never forget. After this cup of tea, well earned cup of tea, I'm going to hit the hay and I'll see you guys in the morning. Always tastes better in the bush, why is that? Morning, man, that was a good sleep. Looks like it's cleared up in the night. I did start off in the bivvy bag last night, but it was just too warm. So I'm out of the bivvy bag. It's nice and dry inside. I've opened up the front flap. It's worked a treat. So the plan is today, finish those last final logs and then set up a fire and then we're good to go. What I have done too, is I've just supported this main beam here with another grunty stick. There's a lot of weight on here now. I thought just one extra precaution. Can't do me wrong. Here's our last log. It's nice, strong, dry, and at the end of its life. Last logs in. Definitely got a lot more room now. Oh, and look at this weather. I'll tell you what, this weather is not gonna stop me from setting up a fireplace. I wanna see if it works, get the pungas, cut out a bit of a fireplace, and let's give it a go. And hopefully this whole shelter that I just spent two days building doesn't burn down with all my gear in it. <laughs> I've got an idea, I'll show you. Oh, check out this lunch. Nice supple jack right down the base. Oh. Oh, it's good. So hard to find these new fresh ends because deer, pigs, and goats love it as well. So here's what I'm thinking placed a couple of logs where the fire's going to go. Dry bag full of soil. Maybe two or three of those. So I'll just fill this up first. So now we've got our base down for our fireplace. Here's what I'm thinking. Get a broken punga log for a backdrop. And then sort of nestle in the base. The idea there, it will lift that fire off that wet damp ground and should get it going pretty well.
What an epic adventure. We slept in the trees. The fire is a huge success. What else is there to do? But finish a nice cup of tea. And I'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for joining me on Just Wild NZ. See you again soon. Yes! Woohoo!